All right, cool. All right, cool. So we got Suspect and Sir Winter today. How you guys doing? What up? Good. What's going on, man? Good. Nice. So yeah, um, Sir Winter, you've always been such a huge advocate of um, Blueprint, so that's why I kind of wanted to bring you on the show. So yeah. what, what, are your, what are your thoughts on, on BP so far? What do you think? I think it's great. I played on uh, Blood Bloodbane, Bloodborne. I don't know. I can't Bloodbane? remember the name. Bloodbane yeah. <clears throat> this week. Server's normally dead in two days. Mm -hmm. It was it was still popping yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Second last time in a while. I've been playing on um, Rusty Moose Small, and normally the official servers, they're like, they're dead, you know, after just a few days. And yesterday, it was almost max pop. Yeah. On a Tuesday. Yeah, it's, it's been a bit wild, hasn't it? It's, yeah. um, and, and the early game lasted for like three days. Like, obviously there were like a few select groups running around with AKs and stuff, mm -hmm. but, um, most of the time we were fighting with double barrels against bows, crossbows, revolvers, uh, SARS. Yeah. Pythons has been a been a big thing. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those too. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. Like there are some tweaks I think that probably should be made. I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Maybe the ladder hatch. Yeah, the yeah, ladder the hatch is, is extremely rare. It seems like. Yeah, I I didn't find a single one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. Yeah, but. Also saying that there was a shop set up that someone found the blueprint and they were charging like 400 scrap for oh, damn. Made ladder hatches. So it gives, it gives like, you know, I, I'd probably buy that if I, if I was grinding hard enough. Yeah. Uh, which 400 like, scraps anyway. is no joke though. That's a lot. Hmm. But you know, how much does it take to research? 250? Yeah, that's, is that how that? much? I'm not sure. Uh, I've never even seen one in the BP yeah. system yet. Yeah. Uh, at we first, a ladder hatch? Yeah, ladder hatch. Dude, I found a ladder hatch the other day and I felt like I found C4. I'm not even joking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was in a fight against a bunch of guys with SARS and road sign armor, I really needed it to uh, research. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> like, you know, before when you're in combat, <clears throat> you know, it's just like uh you lose whatever. Like, yeah, it was still it was still tense, but fucking, if you lose your loot, fucking whatever, you can just craft it again easily. But I was shaking in combat, man. Like, oh, my <laughs> God, I needed the, the SARS. No, 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 because I needed the SAR oh, and okay, uh, okay, the road sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I ended up going off and killing a bunch of them with the double barrel, just guerrilla warfare in the in the forest, man. It was awesome. Yeah. And I got the stuff and got away, and we didn't end up researching it because we didn't grind hard enough, but, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Yeah, at first when I when I was like, oh, BP is like, fuck that. Like, I, I wasn't, I didn't really, because just thinking back, I remember it being so, like, grindy. But now that it's in, I'm, I'm kind of happy because it feels like I'm working towards something. You know, like, yeah. um, normally, yeah, definitely. It, it just feels like I'm just playing, you know, I'm just playing and hopefully I get some footage maybe, you know. But now, like, even if I get raided, you know, I can be like, ha ha, I still got my BPs, motherfuckers, you know. So... Yeah, know. that's right. I had a group of friends on the same server, actually. They got raided, and normally they just change server, but they couldn't in this case. And, yeah. you know, that's that's the type of stuff that's keeping server pop up. Um, So we took them in, helped them out. <laughs> yeah. Got, got them back on their feet, and they ended up getting raided. Oh, <laughs> Not shit. long after that again. Damn. Oh, man, funny. We didn't get raided once. It was amazing. <laughs> really? I got raided yeah. three times in one day. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, Holy they shit. knew it was me, so they were fucking, they were fucking my shit up. Yeah, but, I had like, a bunch of stream snipers outside, but they were like bow naked, so I don't know if they were going too hard or what. Yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the BP suspect? Um, I like them. I like the, I like the BP so far. There's obviously a bunch of stuff they gotta like adjust. Like, what, what don't you like about it? Because I remember you saying that there's some stuff you didn't like about it. Uh, well, right now. Uh, the main thing I don't like about BP is still the same thing I didn't like about the old component system, and that's uh, the ease of access to the top top of launch site. Um, yeah, I saw I saw a couple posts on Reddit, of course, mm -hmm. about people complaining about how it becomes like uh, whoever can camp the top of the launch site the quickest exactly. will be the most decked out. 
Um, you know, it's something that I have really, 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 really liked. What's that? Uh, the lack of littering of high walls. Have you seen any high externals anywhere? Like, I, I haven't seen the problem of that at all. I haven't. Very few. But I've seen a shit ton of, like, tables and spikes yeah. and other yeah. garbage on the road that I'm not a huge fan of. I was did you see what about they did that. today? What? Uh, they made it so if there is... Uh, things that you could place out the the road and it's not inside tc you can pick it up they just changed that today oh, okay that's cool oh good yeah, yeah place that's the cool. I my chair before. <laughs> when i put it out yeah. in the wilderness i couldn't pick it up um yeah that's not saying to uh my friends i was like you know this is gonna make servers lag so fucking bad especially on the bigger ones just entities everywhere yeah, everywhere they need to start making select items only placeable in tc range or some shit like that yeah well i guess if you can pick it up though it, it might lower it because i mean i don't know about you guys but i'm gonna be picking all that shit up <laughs> hey, I'm gonna pick throw it, it over up the recycler yeah. yeah yeah i probably i don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah because like right but now I, it's just I, like... i'm not the type of person like if i if i find it i won't place it on the ground i'll just chuck it out of my inventory so it does this one I'm, yeah. I'm the type of person who won't leave the red pills in the in the box. I'm very considerate. Same. Same. <laughs> I hate those people. Suspect gets so mad at that. <laughs> suspect, oh, so do I. suspect will be planting seeds like during a battle. He'll pick up some seeds and like while like in, in the middle of a fight, he'll start planting the seeds <laughs> down, and then, and then he's like back in the battle, or like he's running away, strafing, planting the seeds. <laughs> Got that farmer hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about the cost of BPs? What do you guys think about the cost? Uh, they definitely need, need to balance some of them. Like I think yes. the cap, the cap is like two hundred. The hat, the hat is like two hundred fifty scrap. That's ridiculous. five five six is two hundred fifty scrap. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit all over the place. Yeah. Um, well, I think they'll they'll definitely work on it. It is the first week, but um, it does. I mean, at the same time though, maybe it it's good that it's expensive because maybe that's what's making people stay on the server so long. You know. Hmm yeah well yeah that's true too um but also like we were saying before it can be like the rarity of items like none of us came across a ladder hat oh except for suspect mm -hmm. but yeah i didn't uh, even research it because we got raided by the time uh, mm -hmm. i have enough yeah. to uh i don't know if you guys have heard about this or i've seen the, that that post on reddit uh the the like different tier system of ladder hatches like maybe a wood for like tier one mm -hmm. tier two gets like the metal, metal sheet, bullshit one and then an armored ladder hatch for i remember i put a fucking tweet out about that and i had a bunch of these fucking little scrappy kids calling me a fucking role player <laughs> wow yeah. i fucking hate that that's so fuck up you role player <laughs> like okay how dareth you speaketh to me like that <laughs> At first, yeah. at first, I feel like I wasn't really a fan of uh, different tier ladder hatches, but now with the BP system, I kind of feel like like it would be a good idea because, um, you know, with the ladder hatches being so rare, if you can find different tiers, then because ladder hatches are so important now, you know, mm -hmm. if you can just get like a wood one to start. Um, I don't know. Armored, though. I almost feel like if if you can get on top of their base and blow straight down, I feel like you maybe you should be rewarded for that. So maybe like maybe like a wooden one and a and a sheet metal. I don't know. Still cheap as fuck to climb up someone's base with the amount of rope mm -hmm. you get though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, well, it's just gonna be the same meta as before. If you know, if they keep the same ladder hatch, just ladder all the way up. Unless yeah. they got like those aids spike bases. Do they increase the the rope? the rope amount no like but the they didn't yeah, yeah it's the same uh, yeah it's just uh i remember Hulk said something about it and said now it's just going to have more purpose because ladders will be a thing again so right. you'll need to use yeah i i love the twig update dude <laughs> yeah if they've like got anything right out of the last couple of months it's the damn twig update. yeah yeah i think it was a little because op but now twig like update or twig nerf uh, the, well, the nerf. That's, yeah, the, I mean, yeah. this is the this is the real twig update. That other bullshit was some. I don't know what the hell that was. That was like I liked that. I liked that. that. I, I liked I this had a lot turtle better. shell bases. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the initial twig update, <clears throat> but I do like this one a lot better. Yeah, mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked it better than it was before, 
But now I like this version even more because it rewards more experienced players. So people who might not be quite as experienced um, in the game, you can expose their um, their weaknesses in their base. And I think that 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 that's how it should be, you know, because you're more experienced. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Have you guys seen um, explosives yet? I haven't seen explosives anywhere. I haven't seen nah. any. No. I haven't really, really saying that though. I haven't really hit up Rocket Rocket Factory or Launch Site or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Um, actually, I did. I did hit it up uh, twice, and I was just getting like the normal stuff, like pipes, tech trash, shit like mm-hmm. that. Other military boxes. I don't know where the fuck people are finding guns and stuff. Mm-hmm. Or explosives. <laughs> I haven't seen them. I think. I think the main way that they get it is through airdrops. Probably. Because like, if, yeah. if, if you get an airdrop. Uh, like yesterday, uh, by the way, Trio servers die really quick. Still, I don't know why. Yeah, I heard but, that. Yeah. Uh, but the airdrops. I in one airdrop I got a Beretta and in and an AK out of one airdrop, and I barely got it back to base. But they were both yeah. full HP instead of the yeah twenty twenty five percent or whatever. Oh really? What do you think to... about that? Do you think they should be lowered on health? Or... I think it should be lower. I think it should be lower. I think personally. it should be definitely. Well, I, think I that... said that on Twitter as well, and yet again, you fucking role play. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems well, it, like it, it... it seems like it should be lower because um, you should have to spend a little resources in it. Like you get the actual weapon, but you can repair it, and then I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe repairing that... should be cheaper because you don't get full durability back either. And um, I, what does it cost? Say like it has one shot left on the AK. It costs pretty much the same amount to craft the full AK, right? Uh-huh. To repair it. Is it? I thought it was half. Well, I I'm I'm not entirely sure on this because I haven't tried repairing guns yet. Like I yeah, I, haven't you know, I remember I went to but, repair an but, AK. I was like forty high qual. Oh my god! You also need the blueprint for that. Do you need the blueprint for to repair? Yes, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. That's what I thought. That's yeah. what I thought. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 So you need you need the blueprint, which I agree on, and mm-hmm. that's why I think they sh- it should be super weak to begin with because you're sh- you're not trying to kill people with that AK that you just got. Right. You're right. You're trying to get your ass back to base to yeah. research it. It's like it's loot, you know. Otherwise, you just get the AK and spray everyone down and GG. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'd be awesome to see him swarm with like, you know, 15 shots left in it or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But well, yeah, and, and I, I think that was maybe a shout. Have... Was that Dave? D- Dave, yeah. Dave put up a um, a tweet about it saying, um, you know, hell, can you make it so like wood armor and all that crap doesn't spawn in the air drops? Mm-hmm. Yes. Shaq replied yeah. and said, yeah, can you also make guns have more ammo? I was like, Boo, man. bullshit, man. Like, guns should have like hardly any ammo and yeah, nearly be broken. I agree. Yeah, and then, and then everyone just flipped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like it, it, it shouldn't be used right away. It's more like a like loot that you have to, you know, run home. But what do you guys, what do you guys think about, um, do, you, do you think it strengthened clans and made it harder for solo players? Or, or what do you guys think about that? I did solo last night. I was actually just getting on to try and film like a random Rust video, you know, just a funny thing. And then um, I found this really nice area. I was like, fuck, I'm going to try solo. And like people are already running around with AKs, mm-hmm. raids going on, on around where I wanted to build. And I still got something down. Um, I, I still feel like it's probably the same. Uh, you know, obviously you're going to have to put more work in as a solo, right. just like in anything. Mm-hmm. You know, many hands make light work and that's the way it should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to play solo, it's just like playing Rust on hard mode. That's exactly, it. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems. I don't know. It, it kind of seems though, like because all like the um, the rockets and the explosives and C four and all that that stuff is from from the heli. Yeah, you know, so the clans will have more access to that sort of stuff. It would be nice if there was a chance to find those items in something else too. So, um, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe the, maybe the green boxes or something. So solo players, um, have a chance of getting those items too, because I completely agree. Cause let's be honest, like a solo player, I mean, you, you might be able to take the heli down, but you know, it's very unlikely you'll get the loot from it. Forget taking it down. Try defending that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're like you're you're shooting off a flare as soon as you take down. I mean, it's possible. It's possible, but that's like a YouTube highlight. You know, that's something you put in your fucking YouTube video. Outside, maybe or something. I don't know. Yeah. So just um, 
you know, if they could if they could balance that a little bit, that would be pretty cool. But I'm sure I'm sure they'll, you know, they'll balance it a bit more since it is the first week. Do you guys do you guys know anything new that's that they're switching tomorrow? Uh, I don't know if they're switching anything tomorrow, but I did see a bunch of commits that they made. I know uh, they're like, like the spear, the stone spear. Uh, well, a lot more than that. Like I saw them making. I don't think this is gonna make it in tomorrow, of course, but. They added like they're they're really focusing on cars right now. Mm -hmm. Like they added a whole bunch of modularity to cars, like engines, chassis, wheels, and they're like polishing it and stuff like that. So I think they're really, you know, they they kind of did the old here's a here's a system. Let's not polish it fully. Let's let's start introducing other stuff. Yeah. Which, which, they've, which they've done time after time after time after time after time. Like any system, think about it, it's not a hundred percent. Because they've kind of just like, you know, introduced it and now they're moving on to something else. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do hope they work on progression. I mean, yeah. I mean, one of the yeah. one of the big things I added for tomorrow is tripling the workbench radius. Thank fuck. Oh man. yes. Oh yeah, dude. Thank it's God, dude. dude. You have to be like sitting on that thing, dude. Yeah. I wish <laughs> it was like a two by two so you could at least sort chests and furnaces and shit like that. Yeah in a certain yeah, radius depending on where you place your um workbench tripling i don't feel like like you triple that now you know that's three steps back <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah 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 so i mean you really have to be hugging still. it right now so i mean yeah. I, don't even, I don't even know how much tripling would do but it's it's a step in the right direction for sure i think that because high externals are we already kind of touched into this the high externals are rare I think that this sh this is like kind of like a example of why they should make it harder to place down high externals so you can't do it in battles. Yeah, because I agree on that. Yeah, because dude, over the last week, man, I've had way better battles because people aren't relying on. Oh, dude, another <laughs> thing. Speaking of that, uh -huh. meds. They need to fucking fix meds, dude. Meds yes. are so broken right now. Yes. The fact that you can get headshot and run around a corner and start ducking and jumping and weaving and medding, it makes uh -huh. no sense, dude. Well, any, like, other, any other game, you have to be stationary. Stand still. Yeah, yeah. because it, it, it's a it's a commitment. It's not, you're not going to weasel your way out of this. Right. I've gotten in a bunch of fights, so I'm chasing someone for five fucking minutes. And they're because just they're spamming med. meds. Yeah, yeah, because, listen, it, and it's the combination of uh revolver doing low damage and a semi doing low damage against a fully geared guy they can run forever med kits and i mean if they have a million meds they can run forever right so it makes me mad <laughs> yeah you wait, you'll see people run out with a lot less meds too then so mm -hmm. you know people run out with like what like two, 12 12 no, meds, yeah, two, dude. two, two yeah. bars yeah two bars 12 fucking yeah. meds dude yeah. i yeah. mean yeah yeah, if if you could, cause yeah, if you could just stand still and take cover or something, um, with the walls, um, it would be cool if you if you could still place them, but maybe it takes a sec to like kind of build it. Yeah, you know? just a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, like okay, you know what's something that's kind of nice is uh, you don't even have to do the animations, but you know how it works with uh, uh, Fortnite. Oh, know? Like, like how it's slowly building and shit. Yeah, and yeah, I like that too. Um, what about bringing barricades back? That yes. Take like 30, yes. 30 AK bullets yes. to yes, break. Dude. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Please. That would please, be perfect please. because yeah. you know, and then make make the um the despawn on them like you know maybe an hour or something so it's it's not littering the the world. Um, and yeah. then they're smaller and they're easy to actually use. You know. Yeah, I really miss the the old barricades from yeah, Rust Legacy for sure. Um, what about like? Cause okay, so like um the c4 and the rockets are extremely rare what about adding like new ways to raid so even though solo players can't find or like it's a little harder for them because they don't have access to killing the heli quite as easily but what about adding like new ways to raid like they were talking about the drill you guys remember that yeah, yeah. this is something we've been speaking about for ages like new ways to raid um quieter ways that might take a lot longer yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of having like yeah, you not know, just an in and out, you're, you're a solo person doing a raid, uh -huh. and you have to go through like five doors or something. That's tons of time for a fucking clan to roll up and just take it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as a solo, it's hard enough. Like looting, you mm -hmm. <laughs> you get in there and like there's so much loot. You got to you know you've got limited inventory space. Like it's it's still fucked. Like the the outcome isn't worth 
what you're putting into it really yeah i think um it'd be cool if you could just leave the drill and it might be loud in the in the area you know but it's like not the making recycler. yeah like the recycler <laughs> yeah, or something exactly. um but it's not making super loud you know explosion so um you can decide like okay i can either save my explosive resources with this it'll take a lot longer you know or you can use it as um more uh like a uh tactical way to raid you know um yeah. if there's a huge clan right next door or something you don't want to alarm them yeah right um yeah make it do like one damage every second on stone or something and make it run off crude oil Ah, crude yeah. oil is something you're gonna have to you know, yeah. farm up to it'd have to be Instead a little bit expensive of though into... i think maybe oh, yeah, like definitely. some sort of maybe high qual like a good hundred good... high qual or something yeah, like that yeah yeah because then it would it, it's it would suck to lose it but someone could just come up and grab it you know you have to defend it while it's while it's going yeah definitely um, i think yeah that's that type of stuff is sorely needed do you guys think this is going to, because Rust has kind of been on a little bit of a decline, but um, it seems like it's kind of coming back. Do you guys think this will, it'll save Rust? Um. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, Rust, <clears throat> Rust declines here and there. <clears throat> uh, obviously this was a worse, worse thing. People were saying, you know, well, it's the, it's the aim cone. People are leaving because of the aim cone. I don't think, I don't think that was the case. I think it's because, um, progression was shit servers would die in two days and everyone yeah. would wait a couple of days for another server to pop up mm -hmm. and then rinse and repeat it. and also because PUBG came out and that's a very big thing like people just like playing different games as well um you know they'll play PUBG and uh you know like what's the point of getting on on rust um you know you've been playing PUBG from the start of the wipe and you want to play Rust, but it's midweek. You can't really do anything because people had all these AKs and shit. You have to wait still. Right. But yeah, PUBG, like if you look at other games, um, stats, I believe, I believe there was a Reddit post about it. Uh, Arcs also dipped and something else that was big dipped. Uh, and then PUBG's was right up. Mm -hmm. It's just because people wanted to play PUBG. Yeah, really. yeah like, that, that could be it too. Yeah. And I think people are getting over... Um, well, no, people are getting over PUBG, but I've oh, seen, yeah. been seeing a lot of... In the US, it's declining uh, a lot. I saw on Steam Spy yeah. tweeted. Yeah. I mean, it's still doing fantastic, but it's not... Mm. It, it, it is declining a little bit. Um, but yeah, people... I, I I feel like Rust won't die Yeah, for a long time. It would yeah. be hard to kill Rust within a, a couple months. You know? Yeah, it's so it's unique. A, it's such a unique yeah. and fun game. Like, people... I definitely think that after. it is, like... The, the, the fact that they're changing from components only to components and VPs, and if they really do perfect this model, uh, it will it will bring that new spark in that people will 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 bring them back. You know, this is like people who haven't. You know, you, I mean, how many? It, it's like for years, people have been c complaining about the goddamn VPs on Reddit, <laughs> yeah. and now finally yeah. <laughs> they get their little nipples sucked, and so. <laughs> They get to come back. Reddit, come back. Come back. <laughs> the BPs are here. All right. You no more crying. I've been hearing um people are upset with the new system. Um oh, I haven't seen any of it. I haven't, I haven't seen any, any of it, but I thought, what the fuck, man? Like, come on. Like people are all hyped about it and shit. I mean, I haven't I don't really visit the Reddit much as I'm assuming that's where it's coming from. But like Well, I, I'm starting to make it like a daily segment where I talk shit on Reddit. So <laughs> This is it is interesting fun. to go and Fuck check you, every Reddit. now and again. It's pretty funny. I think I think they just like to complain is what it comes down to. People yeah, on Reddit, they just like, like to complain. complain. That's all it is. They hate their shit. They hate themselves. Their lives. God damn it! <laughs> Change yourself. And, there is something I do want to see addressed, though, and that's damage. Yes, damage. please. For the love of God. Damage and armor protection. Yeah. But, but please, please fix bleep, be peaceful. Don't worry about that yeah. shit. Let's not dive into, you know... I, I do agree 100 percent though like revolvers it takes like uh, 80 shots to kill an armor yeah it's i think it's like six accuracy. isn't it yeah, it's, it's um like, it's five or six eight. for sure i thought it was eight dude a metal face mask and stuff no the body shots yeah i'm, I'm not sure I'm i don't sure. know it's but too it many though like it's too many well, for well, sure. well, well let's let's not only add that but add the equation of them oh. spamming epipens on themselves behind cover good luck killing an armored guy with a revolver 
unless you hit like eight shots in a row or six shots yeah, get the and, then reload, and, point, and then six shots time. again yeah yeah it's pretty ridiculous like my friend was standing on a campfire without any like armor on his chest he was just wearing a wolf headdress and i had to hit him six times with a pickaxe to fucking kill him while he was standing oh, on yeah. the campfire i was like what the fuck <laughs> and then um the a few days before like i killed four guys with a bow and this yeah. guy runs up with a spear i hit him twice he's naked completely naked i hit him twice with a bow and arrow and he fucking hits me twice with a spear and i fucking die oh i flipped yep. wow. i fucking flipped <laughs> What do you think about damage at a very long range, how it drops off? I, I feel like if like it's it. at a very long range and it's a headshot, it should be a bit more damage, you know? I know yeah, that I mean, doesn't it, make sense, but, you know, but it's it a game. Rewards, it is a game. I think it, should, yeah. I think it should be the same, and it should reward I think it should be skill. The same, yeah. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it the should same? drop off at yeah. all. Well, I mean, it. okay, listen. The fact that they even drop it off to begin with drives me nuts because if you land a crazy AK headshot from a mile away, you're getting punished. Like, what kind of sense does that make? Well, I guess uh, less velocity is probably what they're thinking. Yeah, but give me a fucking break, dude. Give me a fucking break. We're in. We're oh. all running around naked on a, with rocks. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if they realistic. want realistic, uh, silences would uh, sil suppressors would actually do more damage because yeah. you get more velocity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But yeah, it's just like you know when the crossbow nerf first happened, and like Hulk said, you know, it's really you wouldn't be able to run while reloading a crossbow i was like yeah but that's not fucking fun that's stupid yeah that's pretty dumb. remember that shit oh that was yeah, fucking I dreadful i do remember that. when you'd have a whole like, hot bar full of it took, crossbows no no no. when it took like six Just seconds to reload a crossbow oh yeah yeah, yeah dude you that walk, was you and you had to walk too that was yeah. so aids oh my god yeah. like i forgot okay, yeah, about that it, it's a, it's uh, a little bit I, more real. Yeah, it didn't last too long. It's a little <laughs> bit more realistic, but fucking, you know, certain realistic aspects in the game do make it more fun, but certain unrealistic aspects okay, in the let's, game let's, make it more fun if, if and fair and better. Well, if we're going realistic, let's just, I mean, compare high externals. It's over. High externals, slap one down, bam, it's over. You can't even, you know, they're not going for realism. You can't say they're going for realism. Because you can yeah, throw a it's, 10, it's an 10 argument that's used body in front of example. you. I think it's okay if it's if they're not using realism because in the end it is a game. It's supposed to be fun. I agree. You know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I I do think the game is going to, in a more fun direction. I'm having more fun now though, than I was before. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I Sam. Yeah. Oh God, I was burnt out before. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, people were you know doing different mods and you know terminus and just to kind of switch mm -hmm. it up because you only can play the same the same shit over and over and over again. You know. Yeah, I tried Terminus right before the BPs came back in, mm -hmm. and I regretted not doing it sooner. It was, it was fun, fun, man. It was fun. Is I'll fun, probably man. go back and play it some more once once I'm a little burnt out of the BPs, but I'm having some fun That's with BPs my plan. right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got one video out of it, but I'm going away. So I've got to build up an inventory of videos, so yeah. I saved it for that. But yeah, it's, a, it's, it's it has been a good week, a very good week on Rust. Yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, is there, cause the, uh, it's getting a little long now. Is there anything else that you guys would like to say about the BPs before we wrap it up? Hmm. No, no, nothing. Okay. No, no, not really. Yeah. Nothing, nothing points out right now. All right, cool. Um, well, thanks for coming out, Sir Winter. I'm going to end it there. Um, and yeah, thanks guys for watching. Sweet as.